Hello everyone, I welcome you all on the YouTube channel of Analyst IAS. Our today's topic for topic decodified discussion is the generative artificial intelligence. We bring you important topics daily. So if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe so that you can get our notifications on a daily basis at a particular time as well. So we will see why in news, what is artificial intelligence? What is generative artificial intelligence? Then what are the users of generative artificial intelligence? What are the challenges of generative artificial intelligence? Then we will see the way forward and then we will come to our prelims practice question and then the mains practice question as usual. So we will start with the topic that why in news. Ashish Jaiman, who is the director of product for the Bing organization at Microsoft has written an article titled the potential of generative AI creating media with simple text prompts published in the Hindu on 9th of January 2023 itself. There are also rising applications and ethical concerns in the generative artificial intelligence. So we will see what is artificial intelligence. It is a branch of computer science which deals with the simulation of intelligence behavior in the computers. It describes the action of machine accomplishing tasks that have historically required human intelligence. It includes technologies like machine learning, pattern recognition, big data, neural networks, self algorithms. You all must have used Alexa and Siri. So they are also a kind of artificial intelligence. So what is generative artificial intelligence? Generative AI is a cutting edge technology advancement that utilizes machine learning and artificial intelligence to create new forms of media such as text, audio, video and animation. Generative AI also creates fresh previously undiscovered content that is similar to the training data by first training a model on a sizable database. Techniques like neural machine translation, image creation and music creation can be used to achieve this. Generative AI works by training a model on a large data set and then using that model to generate new previously unseen content that is similar to the training data. For example, I have given you image and this image has been made by using the generative AI. So what are the users? Generative AI can craft sales, marketing and brand messaging. Agencies can also generate personalized social media posts, blogs and marketing text and video copies by providing a text prompt to a generative artificial intelligence service like chat GPT. The service can quickly iterate different texts by simply tweaking the prompt to effectively communicate with the audience. It can suggest entire functions, snips and even fully functioning modules and generate code in real time right in your editor. Generating synthetic data from the data augmentation and creating additional training data to train and test AI models to experiment at the sale. It can sift through numerous legal research materials and produce a pertinent, specific and actionable summary. It has has in the iterative creation and evaluation of fresh designs with the help of generative image and video technology. Anything from architecture to machine design to house floor designs may be created. For instance, a generative AI service can enable engineers and users to develop and revise flow plans and architectural layouts with just a text or voice command. It might also aid medical experts in their diagnostic procedures. AI can suggest possible and complementary therapies that are tailored to a patient symptoms and medical background. DeepMind Alpha Fold, for instance, can focus the form of a protein. So, what are the challenges which we face with the AI? So, generative AI has the potential to cause harm and negatively affect society through misuse, propagation of prejudice, exclusion and discrimination 
if it is not created and developed responsibly with adequate safeguards. The use of generative AI raises a number of issues, including prejudice and exclusion. Systems that use generative AI may reinforce and magnify pre-existing biases. Generative AI systems can also create content for malicious purposes such as deep fakes, disinformation and propaganda. I have given you a video on deep fakes if you don't know about it. It can also generate offensive or inappropriate content. Nefarious actors may use AI generated media to manipulate people and influence public opinion. These systems can potentially access sensitive information, raising concerns about data privacy and security. It may also produce low quality and less accurate information, specifically in the context of complex engineering and medical diagnosis. It can be challenging to determine who is responsible for the content generated by a generative AI system. The acquisition and consent model around the training data and intellectual property issues make it very difficult to hold anyone accountable for any harm resulting for its use. So what is the way forward? It is important for the developers and users of generative AI to consider the potential impacts and ensure that the technology is used ethically and responsibly. Then there must be rigor and responsibility to developing AI technology, enforce ethical guidelines, conduct regular audits for fairness, identify and address biases and protect privacy and security. Then the potential effects of generative AI must be taken into account and users and developers must make sure that the technology is applied ethically and responsibly. Therefore, in order to build and use generative AI service ethically and responsibly, we must incorporate proper policy, regulatory awareness and education guardrails. Now we will come to our plans practice question that consider the following statements. First, artificial intelligence refers to systems or machines that mimic human intelligence to perform tasks and can iteratively improve themselves based on the information which they collect. Second, generative AI uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to create new forms of media such as text, audio, video and animation. Which of the following statements is are correct? I hope you all can answer this after viewing this video. Type the answer in the comment section given below. Now we will come to our main practice question that what are the different elements of cyber security keeping in view the challenges in cyber security. Examine the extent to which India has successfully developed a comprehensive national cyber security strategy. Now I have a very important announcement for all of you that our coaching analyst IAS is launching a super fast prelims batch on 15th of January 2023 itself. This batch can save your ear as it will cover your whole syllabus within three and a half months. Moreover, there would be regular test series so that you can monitor your own progress as well. And we have decided that the first 50 aspirants to enroll will get 25% discount in the fees as well. So if you are interested about it or you have any query regarding this, feel free to contact at our given numbers or you can come directly at our office which is located at Old Rajendranagar of New Delhi. Stay tuned. Have a nice day.